What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit, but we are back and I promised to make this video like six months ago. It's a little overdue, but it's my top surgery one year update um, with Dr. Homan Chan in Victoria, BC, Canada. So let's get into it. So here's my chest, uh, about 13 months post-op top surgery. I got the double mastectomy. So basically I had drains go in through that little hole right there, as well as this side. The drains were not that comfortable. I only had them for three days, luckily, because uh, I didn't drain that much. Um, and then these are my scars. They've healed pretty well, actually, in my opinion. Um, I'm really happy with the scar placement. I'm happy with the placement of everything. It seems pretty symmetrical to me. Me personally, I didn't want the scars that looped and I didn't want them to connect in the middle either. So I'm really happy that they don't. So very happy with the results. Um, the only issue I had throughout the entire healing and recovery process was my nipples. The nipples didn't quite heal properly. Um, it was probably my own fault. I know you're not supposed to smoke weed or anything like six months before, six months before, that was tough. <laughs> six weeks before or after, I believe. Um, I started smoking weed again like three weeks after I vape. Um, so I don't know, she said that that nicotine and smoke will affect the, the grafts, which makes sense. I'm lucky I didn't lose a nipple, but this one came out pretty good. Um, also, the color didn't fully come back. That can happen a lot with people uh, with my skin color because I had brown nipples before. So sometimes the color comes back, sometimes it doesn't. So I know a lot of trans guys with pink nips like me, some of them have brown. I didn't really care. Uh, I just wanted them to still be on my body. So this guy is actually a year later. He still gets, uh, I like how I'm gendering my nipples, but he still gets uh, a little dry sometimes. It's weird, like he's still healing and it's been a year. So he's definitely on there. He's not coming off. I can feel it somewhat. I can feel this one. But uh, yeah, it, it still gets uh, issues sometimes. What do I put on my chest? I don't put anything on my chest. I have a uh, very bad eczema. I'm allergic to literally everything. I had bio oil and it made my chest like really red and puffy and like I was like allergic to it. So I don't put anything on my nipples or my scars. Um, when I was my nipples were like infected. I used like a polysporin type prescription that my doctor gave me. Those that worked well. But other than that, I don't put anything on my chest except for like lotion. You know, don't want it dry. And shit. Yeah, that's how it's looking now. I'm now really focusing on working out my chest. I wanted to wait at least like six months before I put like heavy, heavy weight on it. So I'll try and give you a better look. But you know, I'm trying to get it to be pop out now, you know? <laughs> Chest looks like right now, I don't really have any cleavage. It's funny how you cut them off and then now I'm trying to get cleavage again, like. But anyways, I'm very happy with the results, like I said a million times. Um, if you have any questions regarding my surgery, uh, questions if you're going into it, you're nervous. I was extremely nervous, guys. Like I, like, I remember months before, I was just like shitting my pants so scared. It was my first surgery ever. But uh, it went really well. Like I would rather redo that surgery than literally go to the dentist. You know, I, I hate the but thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Drop some video ideas in the comments. And thanks for watching.